Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. If you notice, I keep moving around. <laughs> I'm trying to find out the best place to do these sit down talk videos with you guys. I really like my window, but the glare that it gives off is really, really annoying. So I think that that's going to be a no, no from now on. And I will just be doing it from here during the day you can't do it like over here during the day it looks great um unfortunately i have to use a little ring light here so you know the color is not as great as i would like but that's not what this video is about are you guys ready for another chris movie i was for sure that my last video was not as long as my first video <clears throat> I was wrong. I couldn't believe it when I was editing. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I really, and I was watching some of my older videos too. Oh, to touch upon that, the last video was a little bit about wax melt. I placed an order with Shea Scents. I remember that I used to love Shea's palm wax specifically. And so I placed a, an order. So I will be doing a review on that coming up. And I am just here to answer more of your questions. So you guys have been so great in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. One of these is from Kim. And it says, how are you dealing in quarantine? And I think that I'm going to... That's going to be a whole nother video within itself because that's very multifaceted. So I'm going to save that one till next time. This is several questions in one that was posted by Twyla from Like Mother, Like Daughter. If you guys do not know her, oh my gosh. Like you have to, have to, have to. Uh, subscribe to her. I'm going to post her link down below. That woman has just never stopped grinding. Like she's just always grinding out the videos. I don't know how she does it, but um. So her question was questions. First one was, what do you like to do? So these are all going to be kind of two parters because right now we are in quarantine. Announcement, guys. So this is going up probably Sunday, maybe Monday the 22nd. I will have my first vaccination on the 23rd, Tuesday. I am terrified. I uh, And the reason being is that I had an anaphylactic response to a flu shot once, and I've never gotten the flu shot since. And that's one of the questions they ask is, do you have, have you had that or whatever? But I'm assuming that all the facilities are going to have EpiPens and medicine and stuff like that on hand for that situation, should it arise. I mean, especially if you tell them that, yes, you've had that. I'm going to be calling them on Monday just to make sure. That's my biggest thing. I mean, you know, I know the first vaccination most people have zero issues with as far as after effects. And then the second vaccination is more of you know where you get sick you know you just don't feel good for like a good 12 to 24 hours like you're just like Ugh. you know i feel horrible so most people that i have encountered who have gotten in who have gotten vaccinated really felt like maybe they had a headache or they which i already have i have a headache 24 7 i don't know what's going on with me i think i have sinus issues or something or some chills and some sweats, you know, or being tired, like just, you know, just feeling sick, like just kind of like, eh, nothing really specific, but just sick. So it's something that I've been really looking forward to. I wasn't going to talk about this, but here you go. Extra bonus. This is the, this is the prequel to the movie. So get your popcorn. I have been really looking forward to it yet. It's almost one of those things like when something comes out and you're like, yes, oh my gosh, this is such a blessing. I know we still have to wear our masks. We can still spread it to others. Everybody has to be well aware. And please don't post in the comments, guys, like your opinion. Like that's, I just don't want that. Like your opinions on it or your horrible experiences just because I haven't gotten it yet. So maybe I won't even post this till afterwards because <laughs> you guys are going to freak me out and you know I have anxiety and panic issues and it's just not something that I want to do. And nor do I want to fight with people who don't believe in it. You know, that's your choice to not believe in it and that's fine. But I don't think it's something that I 
And I, in fact, it's not something that I want to have a conversation about because I'm not going to change your mind and you're not going to change my mind. And so I just don't need evidence of that it is good or evidence that it's not good, that it works, that it doesn't work. I, I just don't need that in the comments. So you know, it's almost like kind of when I go on vacation, which is so ridiculous. But again, this has to do with anxiety when participatory anxiety or anticipatory, I'm sorry, anxiety. So like when you worry about something before it's even happened. So yes, that is me. That is Chris's life. And I, but like when I go on vacation, for example, I'm so excited. You know, you book your tickets. It's, it's two weeks away. You're like, yes, I can't wait. I'm going on vacation. And then Say maybe you're afraid to fly or something, or you're, you're not really afraid, but you just have a, like, I don't love to fly. I don't really mind it. I mean, I haven't been on a plane in so long, and not just due to, due to the pandemic, but just because I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't just, I haven't been able to afford it. So, you know, I don't know how I'd be now. I'm sure I'd be fine. So then as it gets closer, like the night, be I know for myself anyway, the night before, it's like you're all well and good, and you're like, yes, I got it. In fact, last night when I did book my appointment, I was surprised. They just opened for my age group. Here in Connecticut, we're doing it by age group now, which is what the president had recommended. And again, no political stuff about our president or past president, guys. Like, this guy's our president, whether we like it or not. So it is what it is. But, you know, so... In Connecticut, what they were doing was they were going, they were doing first responders, all that other stuff, and then they were going to open it up to, I know everybody's different, they were going to open it up to the next wave was going to be people with autoimmune issues or chronic, you know, issues, which I would have fallen into that category too, but this way, it just so happens that they could get it out a month or two, everybody could be vaccinated a month or two earlier, or the rollout would be a month or two earlier. Now, I really thought yesterday being the first day of my age group being able to get vaccinated, there was no way I was going to be able to get an appointment. I So I wasn't very nervous because I was just like, oh, you're probably going to have to wait. Although I was kind of nervous because I didn't want to wait. You know, it's like, I want this, but you don't want it. It's unknown. You're just sort of like, eh. Well, you know, I have to learn to just give it up to the Lord. And that's another video that I'm going to be doing is about my Christianity and my path and struggles that I've gone through, blessings that I've had. And just, you know, it's not a straight and narrow road. It's it's very windy. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that too. So, but now that it's approaching on Tuesday... And it's at a community center run by a hospital. Well, not run by, but I'm, I think the, the nurses and, you know, people in there that are administering are from St. Francis Hospital. So it's not in the hospital, which I would have preferred. Although, do I really want to be in a hospital right now? Not really. But, you know, I... It's going to be run, and it has to. It has to be run according to CDC guidelines by a professional who can administer vaccines. And I'm assuming that they they will have epipens and stuff like that there. But I'm going to call them on Monday just to make sure. And if I have to wait, because the next one out that that I'm seeing on all the websites is like April 13th or 14th, and that's like a month away. So, I mean, it's a little less than a month, but still about a month away. And I'm like, you know what? The sooner I can get it, the better. So I'll probably take my chances and just leave it in God's hands. And he's protected me thus far. Knock on wood, I've been COVID free. And my family's been COVID free and they're all vaccinated. So I'm really excited to be able to get back with my family and be able to spend time with them because I really haven't been able to do that. Because I've been super, super, super strict besides going to work. And even at work, I double mask. So I, I do the best that I possibly can. And I think that like the biggest risk might be me having Carson over. Because Carson doesn't live with me and I homeschool him every day. So anyway, that's beside the point. But I'm just letting you know what's going on in my life. So the question is, what do you like to do? So <laughs> honestly, this is just so weird. It's, it's hard to not talk about the pandemic because so much has changed. When I first moved into this house, like, 
that was when lockdown happened. That was, I had just refound my faith, re, you know, turned my life back over to the Lord. So it's really hard not to talk pre-pandemic or post-pandemic and in, in pandemic because the answers are so different. It's like, what do I like to do right now? I am going through it right now. And I think that's part of the reason why I was very relieved to finally have my first shot set up. But I'm also, again, nervous about the... Yeah, mostly the, the anaphylactic, which it's not, it's probably not going to happen. I, I, I had flu shots before and never got an anaphylactic reaction, but they change the flu shot up a little bit every single year, as you guys know. So they, I think it was just a fluke. I had it one time and then, I mean, obviously it wasn't fun, but then I, you know, I mean, quickly, it's like not like a big deal. Like it's like, I mean, it is a big deal. It's life threatening, but you quickly recover and you feel, you know, crappy for like about a day, but then you're fine and you forget about it. It's like sort of like, okay, fine. And then I just never got the flu shot after that. Cause I was like, I'm allergic to the flu shot. I can't get it. And, the, and my doctor said, well, what happens? And I'm like, I had anaphylactic. So people are like, don't you have your own EpiPen to bring? I'm bringing this back to this. I'm sorry. I just need to vent guys. So hear me out. Um, and if you guys have had good, if you guys have been vaccinated and have had good experiences, please let me know that in the comments. <laughs> I don't want to know about the bad experiences, guys. I hate to like, you know me, I never censor, like I'm not going to censor what I'm saying and I normally never delete comments or censor what you're saying. It's just for my own mental health, I know you guys care a lot about me and it's just something that keeps me up at night and is causing constant anxiety and panic right now so please be kind and you know so I forgot what I was saying <laughs> here we go again so yeah it's it's caused constant panic and anxiety and that's kind of like where I'm at right now like I'm just over all this I as I know a lot of us are but like every day I say I can't hold on another day. Like, I just, I can't do this anymore. And there's a lot of stressors going on in my life, not just to do with the pandemic. I mean, are they all sort of related in a way? Yeah, in a way because things would be different. Like me homeschooling my grandson, I wouldn't be homeschooling him. Not that I don't love him because I do, but it is a lot of work. It's a lot of attitude every single day. It's a lot of stress every single day. And it's just not, there's no self-care for Chris. So, and then with Dante, he can't come and go because he hasn't been vaccinated and he, and I haven't been vaccinated and he can't come and go. And so that's something, again, you know, due to this situation we're in right now, it's just a lot harder to do the things that I love, which is basically to spend time with my family. And that's really hard, being the only person thus far besides Dante who has not been vaccinated is has been very difficult because, you know, I'm not going to just take a walk down to my parents without a mask. And what's the point of me wearing a mask if they're not wearing a mask? I mean, I always do wear a mask when I enter their house, but it's their house and they don't want to wear a mask in their house. They did... If you guys saw on Facebook, we had my birthday party, which was great. It was wonderful. It was short and sweet, but it was very, very nice. They all wore masks for me, which was very, very great. And it just helped me feel a lot safer and a lot love. It helped me feel loved, really. Like, I'm going to cry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Chris, the crier is back. Um, No, it just really felt made me feel loved that... Was it something they normally would do or they would do for other people or whatever? Like, not really. And they're not non-maskers, but just in their house. They just don't want to wear a mask. Like, and I get it. You know, that's their house. Just like I have a sign on my door that says no mask, no entrance, no exceptions. And people are not allowed into my house without a mask. It's like you have to keep whatever you feel is keeping you you safe is what you have to do. You can't control what other people do, but you also have to, if you love that person, you have to respect their wishes. So like, I can't go in with masks when I walk into their house and hand them out and say, put these on, please. Like that's their house. So I can either choose not to go over there or, you know what I mean? Risk 
infection and and it's hard it's really really difficult because this is not how i expected things to go at all when i moved here i was ready raring to go already and life just has a way of you know flipping upside down so what do you like to do like really right now i'm not enjoying much of anything i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you so right now, what do I like to do? I like, I've been binging on, I think I told you guys before, but I've been binging on like a lot of rom-coms. Right now I'm watching Melissa and Joey, like 90s kind of shows. I started to watch Blossom. Like I, I just, just stuff to sort of, lighthearted stuff. Um, All of Us is back on, so I'm happy about that. Riverdale's back on, so I'm happy about that. I'm watching the last a ep couple episodes, I think, of Shameless, because they're going off the air, uh, which is a show I was really into, and then I'll get more into it into the, in the Faith video, but once I gave my life back to the Lord, it's not really something that I really partake in, which you guys are going to find, I hope you guys still love me, because you're going to find that there's not going to be a lot of if any swearing in this in these videos anymore and it has nothing to do with youtube or algorithm or anything like that because i don't make any money anyway i just it's not something that i want to do so am i still gonna be open and honest yes but i'm just it's just something in my life that once i gave my life over to the lord again i, I just i didn't need to swear like i just didn't need to i found it unnecessary i rarely listen to secular music i still of course love matchbox 20 if, if it's if it's music that is, you know, I don't know. I never really listened to anything. I don't think I really listen to anything, like, really. And I don't want to label it bad because, yes, I used to listen to Motley Crue. And I used to be into all the hair bands and the heavy metal and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't necessarily call it bad. It's just, it's something that I listen to worship music all the time. So what do I like to do? I like to listen to worship music. I like to my life is pretty boring i like to listen to worship music i love to worship the lord i like i love church on sunday mornings i love working with my church i love running an e-group every sunday with all the ladies from church and church and having visits with dante when dante comes over otherwise normal stuff is just I kind of look forward to making myself dinner every day. Yes, I'm still on keto, for those of you wondering. Yes, I have gained 20 pounds in quarantine, for those of you wondering. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it did. And I am I still fast. I still eat one meal a day. I do OMAD, and I'm just not really sure what's going on. I was doing a lot of cheating before. I think now that I'm working... The days that I work are really hard because I have to eat before I go into work, which is like three, 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And I'm not used to, I usually eat about 5, that's my one meal, I'm done by 7, that's it, start fasting. And so, I don't know, so it's, it's difficult. But anyway, so I enjoy cooking myself meals. I and I don't make big huge meals. I really only eat three things and in, in rotation. So I'm kind of boring when it comes to that. I just to me food is sort of I was binging. I gave up peanuts for Lent. Peanuts in the shell was my binge food. So what do I like to do? Binge on peanuts in the shell. But I could literally eat them by the pound. So I mean it's not a matter of like, oh fill a little bowl of peanuts and that's your snack. No. And I shouldn't even be eating those because they're very inflammatory and with my RA and stuff, I can't, you know, I should not be doing that. But it was sort of my treat, but I was finding myself doing it more and more and more. So when Lent came along, I said, that's what I'm giving up is peanuts. But I will grab like a Quest bar if I need just a little sweetness. And I try to only eat half of it because the sugar alcohol is in there, even though it's technically keto. I it, It's just still not it's not the best for you. It's not clean keto. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have not like a lot of people picked up exercising in quarantine. Uh, first of all, it was winter. We had a beautiful day here today. I think it might have reached 55. I'm not sure. I didn't go outside. I took a nap. I like naps. Um, I like naps until I wake up with anxiety because I just I wake up all the time with anxiety. It's weird. Like I love going to bed at night. 
and getting just a really, as soon as my head hits the pillow, that's it. I'm, I'm asleep. But, um, yeah, mostly binging on shows, watching sermons, just being a part of my church, talking to people on the phone, video chatting with people, you know, whatever the situation is. Things have been hectic and busy, though, so... I write down in a gratitude journal every day, like every morning and every night, sometimes just at night because sometimes it gets away from me uh, like it did today, but what I'm grateful for and I write some little prayers out for myself, for others, and so yeah, I mean, I guess that's what I like to do. I started I started doing puzzles at first. I did one puzzle, me and Carson, I did most of it. I was going to say me and Carson did it. <laughs> I did most of it, but... That was a 500 piece puzzle and I just don't have the room like I need a puzzle table and because now I have a thousand piece puzzle and I like I enjoyed it but I don't know not really my thing I've tried coloring the adult coloring books I, I, I don't know it's hard for me lately to just get into anything so it's kind of hard so what am I enjoying now is making YouTube videos that's what I'm enjoying now so where do you want to go is her next question. And uh, obviously, I want to go to Elevation Church. That's a church that I belong to. They have many campuses, but their main campus is in North Carolina. And I, yes, once this is all over, that is where I will be going and I will be getting baptized. So I, I can't wait. And hopefully along the way, I'll be able to meet some of my church the people that I volunteer with and my church friends and everything like that. I mean, where do I want to go? Oh, when this is over, I want to go a lot of places, a lot of places. I really, really do. Like nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm really excited about that. So where do I want to go? Like in general, in life, I want to go to Missouri, obviously. And um, see Twyla again. That was one of the best trips that I ever had. If you guys go back on this cha channel and you look up the uh, Bean Boozled Challenge, uh, me and Twyla did that and it was great. It was really, really wonderful. I just, it was like one of the best vacations I ever had. Her next question is, what do you want to see? You know, I want to see everybody in this world. This is a very broad question and it's going to sound hokey as no one's business but it is the truth i want to see everybody happy and healthy i want to see the negativity of this world regardless of who our president is what we're going through whether we have a job or not you know and i know it's so easy to say guys i'm going through the same thing that will be in the you know my faith video but I just wish to see more positivity on social media. Like, it's it's just, I've really gotten off social media. If you message me on Facebook, I will message you back. But other than that, if you go on my feed, all you're going to see is prayers and maybe a few pictures. I'm, I'm just not on it. I, I'm rarely, rarely on even Instagram. Like, any of them. I'm just not. I, it's not. Social media is so toxic right now. Everybody has an opinion to everything, and they it's not even an opinion. Like, you can give your opinion, but they, like, they treat their opinion as if it's fact, and it's so crazy. For those of you that are curious as to what I'm vaping today, if you've come from my vaping channel, I notice a lot of people who have been watching my stuff from, who used to watch my vape videos, so thank you guys. Uh, welcome to my new channel. And I am vaping on, I just got in today, uh, crack pie, and I, I, I don't know, like, people, like, rave about it, and I'm like, I mean, it's good, it's just not, it doesn't blow me away. So, I think crack pie reloaded might be. Um, so what do I like to do? I still like to vape. I, I, do, I really do, I really enjoy vaping. What else? So, yeah, where do I want to go? That's where I want to go. I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Disney World. I haven't been to Disney World in so long. So, what do you want to learn? Wow, that's a good one. I've learned so much this year already. Let me tell you, if this, if you guys can leave 
this pandemic behind and say that you have not learned anything, I feel bad for you. And I'm not being condescending. It's just, it's just like you really have to look inwards and not like, oh, well, the past two years have stunk. You know what I mean? That's not what I mean by learn. I'm just saying really learn. This is the opposite. So I'm trying to fix my necklaces. Um, and for those of you wondering, this is an opal cross that was given to me that used to be my grandmother's and it was given to me by my Aunt Mary. This bar says be um, strong and courageous and it's from uh, Joshua 1 8. Joshua 1 8? Joshua 1 9, which is one of my, you know, do not, you know, you know uh, have I not commanded you to not be afraid? You know, I am always with you. I can't. I'm not a scripture quoter. So, but Joshua 1 9, look it up if you guys, you know, have a Bible and you read it. it it's one of my favorite, you know, that no matter what comes your way, the Lord is always going to be with you. He's always with you. And this just makes me feel like I have a nice warm hug, you know. Um, so I have that. And this was given to me by um, or Yvonne. I'm sorry, Yvonne. Yeah, why did I say Yvette? I don't even know a Yvette, uh, in the Subum Girls. So she sent this to me, which is so beautiful, so absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so thank you very much. I don't think she watches my videos, but on this channel. And then this I got from Alex and Ani, and it is just a, it's from, it's just a picture of Jesus. And it's so beautiful. And it says on the back, love and, I can't read anymore, guys. Oh, love one another. So that's what I would like to see and what I would like everyone to learn throughout this. You know, the camaraderie that we all had at the beginning of this was so amazing. Like everybody was helping everybody and it's still out there. I'm not going to say it's not out there because it is. It's still out there, but people are getting, people are starting to lose their minds and, and I get it. I do. I understand it. But please stay true to the person that you are. I look forward to getting my hair done again. Some crazy colors. I need to get it cut again because it's getting so long. And this color is just not doing it for me. It's supposed to be like a violet, like a ruby violet color. And it's just not. And the grays show up too quickly and it's too normal. And I just, I don't vibe with it. I know some people like it, but. You guys know me. It's just not me. So I'm looking forward to that. To, like, simple little things. Um, I'm still seriously thinking about getting some lip injections, guys, because my lips are uneven. Not the bottom lip. I'm trying to find with my bottom lip, but I really want to get some lip injections, I think, in my upper lip to even out because this side is a lot thinner than this side as you guys can see. Um, and I know I could overdraw my lips and stuff, but I just don't. I don't, I don't. I don't know. It just looks so fake. So I just don't do it. So, I mean, some people get it done and it looks great, but I don't know. I just would like to even it out. That's all. Even this side out. So get more tattoos. Yes, I have a lot of scripture verses that I want. I have a lot of biblical ideas that I want. So getting more tattoos is something I look forward to. So what do you want to learn? I just want to learn how to, my biggest thing, so the biggest thing I've learned throughout this is that I am a lot stronger than I thought I was. I was literally, my parents were in Arizona up until, I want to say May. So I went all of last year, May or June, I'm trying to think of when they were able to come back. May or June of last year, something like that. And and so I was isolated for about, they usually are, are gone for four months and gone for six months. I mean, I had to move this whole place by myself. I had I had a few friends that did help with little things and uh, stuff like that. And I had a few guys with trucks that helped move, you know, the smaller things. And then I, I got a mover. I, I, and it was something that I never thought that I could do. I'd never done anything like that before. Being a homeowner, I'm learning a lot of stuff that, I can just get done that I I never thought I could do if you had asked me before oh do this I'd be like I can't I don't know how to do that well YouTube is a very good teacher and you just figure it out you just make it happen and I always pray that the Lord guides me and he always does and I'm always able to 
figured out one way or another. So just simple little things. Um, but honestly, getting through these past this past year and a half or year and three months, soon it'll be year and a half. It's just been crazy. And am I fearing as well as I was at the beginning of this? Absolutely not. No. I don't think any of us are. Some people, it's weird. Some people were panicked at the beginning and now are better. I mean, other people like me were fine at the beginning because, you know, we all, I, you know, we all told ourselves, ah, this, will, this is nothing. It'll be gone in a couple months or, you know, this will, this will move by. Because it was something that, like, we just couldn't wrap our heads around. And, you know, here we are, you know, this long into it with really... I don't want to say no end in sight. The vaccines are going to change a whole lot of things, but it's going to be more normal than than usual. But I think the biggest thing that I want to learn, because the hardest problem I have had is kind of the live and let live thing, because I am just such a, and I don't mean it like live and let live, like I'm going to go on social media and anybody who doesn't wear a mask, I'm going to you know point out their flaws or anything like that. Have I? I... I have, and then I always think, you know, WWJD, what would Jesus do? And I'm like, I start to type, and then I'm like, click, 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 you know, delete, 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 because I'm just like, what is that going to do? Just like I asked you guys, please do not post horrible experiences about the vaccine, you know, down below or anything like that, because it's like, you're not going to change my mind, and it's just going to upset me, and I'm not going to change your mind, and my argument back is just going to upset you. And all I want is love on this channel. You guys know that I just, I love you guys so much. So, but really live and let live because, and it's been hard to, what I want to learn the most, and it's something that I've been struggling with the most lately. I wasn't before. It was kind of like, oh, okay, it is what it is. You know, this is going to happen, but it'll go away and everything like that. And now... It's just, so you go to work, people walk in with no masks, you have to say something, it's just, and, or they pull down their masks to talk to you, and you can't, I'm not allowed to say, excuse me, put your mask up, you know, it's just kind of crazy, so I just have to take a deep breath and just not as their mask is down, obviously, I try to hold my breath, but I don't know if that does anything, but I'm just saying, I need to let go of control. None of us have control. We always say we only have control over what we can control, and of course, like, you can control, but even that is kind of not. We're given control by the Lord, like, we really don't have control over anything. We think we do. It's in our head that we do. Realistically, we don't. I could work and be a great worker every single day of my life and still lose my job. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to anything. You can live a very healthy lifestyle and die tomorrow. It, it, it's just not... The Lord has this all planned. Your life's already planned. Does that mean, like, you don't try? You don't strive? No, of course. So I think, like, my biggest thing is to not get so emotional and upset over what other people are doing and when I say that I mean especially my loved ones I've kind of with the social media I've just gotten off it so that doesn't bother me as much there's still things that come through that do you know I do catch and it does bother me for example when I watch updates um from the governor the comments oh my god I, I just the stuff that comes through I just get so mad and I so want to type and I'm like no stop because again I'm not going to convince you you're not going to conv convince me and these people just you know, some people just want to fight some people and right now that's kind of the thing we've been having a lot of car thefts around here which is so weird because it's a good neighborhood people are just losing their minds and I really pray that the Lord just covers this earth and just brings us back and so what would I like to see is unity again. I really would. Um, and that goes on to the last question is what have you learned or gained? What have you learned, gained, or lost since you were last on YouTube? And I think what she means is by the platform. I have learned that I really miss 
2013, 2015, 2012, 13, 15 YouTube. I, I, I miss it. When everything wasn't so PC, when everything wasn't drama, when everything wasn't scripted and fake and not that there wasn't that stuff there, there was, but it was just a good time. And that's really what I want this channel to be is just a good time. So that's really what I've learned is that YouTube is just as toxic as really any other social media. I mean, you have all this stuff about, you know, essays coming out, people who've been accused of essay. Um, if you don't know what that is, watch a YouTube video, you'll figure it out. Um, and it, it's just, it's crazy. Some of the people that I used to watch, I've learned that those are not people that I want to watch anymore. I don't watch Jeffree Star. I don't watch James Charles. I don't watch, like, I craved their videos. Like, I couldn't wait or a new product would come out. Could care less. I am not going to give either one of those people, and there's a lot of other people, too, like, my money. Like, I'm just not, I can find an equivalent. Like, for example, Liquid Lipstick. This is by Tarte. This is the Tartiste Liquid Lipstick. One of my favorite. I only have one color, and it's, oh, what's the color? Oh, I had it in my head, and I forgot it, but I, I love this color. I just, it's a perfect rosy, like, nude color. The perfect nude for my skin tone. I love it. I will purchase it over and over and over again. Um, but I don't, I don't need Jeffree Star, and I don't need the James Charles Charles palette. I just I just don't need. I don't need to support people like that. I, and even people that I used to love to watch, like David Dobrik, for example, like I did. I love to watch him. Um, he was funny. The Vlog Squad was funny. The way they're acting now in the middle of a pandemic, horrid, horrible, and the accusations coming out and the proof, not just accusations, but proof coming out against David Dobrik discuss and the Vlog Squad, disgusting, absolutely disgusting, don't want it, won't watch it, don't care, um, I am so happy, one of the people, one of the highlights of 2021 is Roman Atwood is back, so I don't know of those of you who didn't know, Roman Atwood was my guilty pleasure, but he was daily vlogging, and I, he really got me through each and every day. Right now, he's not. May he go back to it? Yes, he had. He has said. But they came back. To, uh, back. Uh, Brittany had another baby after Cora. So I don't know if, if you guys watch him or not. But uh, he was just. He's always happy. He's always positive, even after the loss of his mom uh, a couple years ago and everything like that. And I just love their family. They bought a new, absolutely gorgeous house. I don't know how I feel about them in that house, though, because if you watch, we, you know, we, I think it's We Bought a New House. I'm not sure if it was, it's, if that's the name of it, but um, I'm going to go on talking about Roman Atwood for 10 minutes. But it's very bougie. It's a very bougie house, and their other house in Ohio was, they're still in Ohio, and they still have a farm you know, farmland and stuff like that and everything. But this house is just very modern. Whereas their house before was was modest, but they they had all this land. Like, it was very nice. I mean, when I say modest, my house is modest. Their house was still very, very nice. But it was a lot homier. It just seemed a lot homier. This is just more opulent. And it's they're not a family that I... It's almost like they're at a spa or at a bed and breakfast. You know what I mean? Like, or an Airbnb. Like, I just, it's taking me a little while to get used to it. And they deserve it. Don't get me wrong. But, um, and it's beautiful. It's just not something that I, I don't know. Just their whole family channel, it's just sort of weird to me. And not weird. Weird sounds negative. It's just. Something that I need to get used to, but I'm happy that he's back filming and what seeing the difference between, I mean, I didn't even know that Brittany was pregnant and having a baby because I'm not on social media. So, you know, they had another boy and I am just so happy for them and they've gone through so, oh, the last, you know, couple years have been horrendous for them and it's, I'm just very happy. Anyway, I don't know why I keep talking about that. I'm sorry. It's just something that makes me happy. So, 
I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned, um, gained, and lost is that I've lost a lot of people. I've lost a lot of respect for people that I used to watch. And I'm not most, I'm really not talking smaller YouTubers, although I have kind of gotten out of watching. Like, Jackie Ina just posted something I'm, on one of my accounts. I'm still subscribed to her, and I just don't watch her. So, like, the people that I used to really watch religiously, the only person that I still kind of watch religiously is, well, I've gotten into the H3 uh, podcast, and... Um, Frenemies with Trisha Paytas, who I used to, I couldn't stand before. And now she's just spitting out facts like nobody's business. I mean, she's not, I, I don't want to say she's, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. You know, she, she talks without really knowing, but she also talks a lot of fact and she's right about a lot of things. And so it, I think it's just her, the way she comes across the way her approach or the way she um, vocalizes things, which I have a problem with sometimes too. So just love it. Cannot wait for frenemies. Cannot wait for, well, H3 by himself, H3 and his wife, Ela, uh, Ethan and his wife, Ela, after, you know, after dark. I mean, I'm not so much into their podcast. They are funny, but you know, it like yesterday's was like three hours long. I haven't even finished watching it, and I don't even know if I'm gonna like. I, at some point, like I get bored. I don't mind watching an hour, like especially if it's uh, Ethan. I mean, if it's if it's friend of me, it's like I'll watch. Theirs is over an hour. I'll watch that no problem. You know that podcast, but it, it's always entertaining. Trish is just very entertaining. She's entertaining. She just really is, and she's funny. It's something that I never thought she was because all she was doing is complaining, but now. That she's with Moses and she's engaged. Like, she's just a different person. I mean, I don't want to say she's a different person, but she is. She's kind of a different person. She just seems very happy. Does she still have her manic episodes and everything like that? Yeah, but, I mean, I get it. I'm bipolar myself and I have some of the same things she has. So, like, I understand and especially in the middle of what we're going through now, that comes out in people. And it's very, very difficult so, but she she's fun. She's just funny. If you watch some of her stuff, it's funny. And the way her and Ethan play off of each other, they're hysterical. They're just, they really are hysterical. So I've lost a lot of respect for a lot of people. I do not watch TikTok. I will watch Trisha's TikTok. That's it. I do not watch anybody else's TikTok. Um, I haven't gotten into that, you know, thing. I don't know how to do it. Don't know how to use it. Don't care to. I thought about it, but then I'm just like, I mean, I have an account. There's nothing on it. But just not something that I'm interested in. Let me see. What have I learned? Again, that that YouTube has become who can we take down next? And some people for a very good reason. Um, am I going to lie and say I don't miss Shane Dawson? I, I do. I miss him. I miss him. I do not respect him anymore unfortunately, and now, like, the conspiracy palette was 50% off. I didn't get it, and I wanted it so bad when it first came out, but I'm not going to get it. I have plenty of stuff that I can get that, you know, and I liked Ryland, too, but he's come out to be not such a good person either, so I, I don't know. It's hard. I still, I watch Morgan, Morgan Adams, his sister, She's funny. She is so funny. So I do watch her. And Raw Beauty Christie. Like, those are the big ones that I watch. As far as smaller YouTubers, I just I haven't really watched lately. I just haven't. I mean, I'll watch Twyla, like Mother Like Daughter. But most of the stuff is beauty you know it's like beauty related and stuff and like in the middle i mean i love you guys so much and like in the middle of quarantine if you guys are posting beauty videos and you're buying a lot of makeup good for you i just i'm like anytime i go on i gotta wear a mask anyway so like i'll have brows and lashes and you know an eyeliner and like that's it like the rest of my face it's like nothing because why bother so i just don't get it it's just not something that, like, I need to give information about right now. Because by the time we don't have to mask anymore, that stuff's probably going to not even be on sale or be obsolete. You won't even be able to get it. So I'm just sort of like, okay, you know. 
Uh, let's see. So that's what I've learned. Um, and I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Because this is 47 minutes already. And let's hope when I edit this, we can get it down a little bit. But I love you guys so much. Thank you. Please post down below in the in the thing. And please subscribe, guys. Hit the subscribe button, please, please, please. I really would like to get my subscriber base up there because I am going to be doing some reviews. Uh, I've been reaching out to some people. And I'm hoping to be able to get some stuff to do reviews. Like I said, I was able to purchase some Shea scents. So I will be doing a candle review on that. And I love you guys so much. Post questions down below. Just keep them coming. I have one more. So I need more. Well, actually, I kind of have two. There's one is uh, from Kim. One is talk about my Christianity. That'll probably last a whole video. And one is how are you dealing in quarantine? And that'll probably last a whole video. So anyway, I and I dealt with a little bit here, but we'll go more into depth. So I love you guys so much. But again, any topics that you want, please post below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.